I've got some, uh, some sad news to report in today's video. A few people have noticed already, but I thought it was time for the official obituary. That's right, my, uh, my car, the old battered BMW, has finally breathed its last. It's gone to the old scrap heap in the sky. And I thought at my age I should probably get a, you know, a nice, sensible, adult, practical vehicle. I thought about it and then I decided to get this instead. <laughs> Alright, now normally, I try to avoid gimmicky videos like the plague, you know the kind I only ate turquoise food for 24 hours or I swapped diets with my brother-in-law's proctologist or something like that But this video, I can't deny, is firmly in the gimmicky genre Still, when I had this, uh, this idea, I thought it would make a, a fun video So this is a, uh, a Tesla Model 3, that's right, I, I joined the Green Revolution I went electric, but I don't really get excited about cars. I'm not really into cars. If they can get me from point A to point B, that's all I'm really looking for. But this thing, even though I'm not that familiar with it yet, seems to have a lot of wacky additional features. Most of which are completely useless, like the, the fart thing, although it's entertaining Mrs. Beard. <laughs> she loves it. But it does have a, a feature which I think could come in handy for someone like me, whereby you can tell your car that you're feeling hungry and it will recommend somewhere in your local vicinity for you to eat. Now we just actually picked something up for this uh, secret project I keep teasing. So we've got to get home, but I thought we could have a good old fashioned cheat day, but with a twist, we could let the, the car decide where we eat. That sounds like a fun video, no? Yeah, yeah. We're doing it anyway, we're doing it anyway. All right, Mrs. Bird, do you want to do the, uh, the honors? So you press navigate, and then there's an option that says hungry, Layla's kitchen. Looks like we're going to Layla's kitchen. Is it open? It says it. It gets five, five stars. It's got to be good. We're actually, today we're in a place called Maidolmroid, which sounds like it could be from Lord of the Rings or something, mm. but it's between a place called Midgley and another place called Hoo <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like it could be from a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> British place names are weird. I'm not sure you're going to like this one. So this is the tagline. Changing perceptions with great vegetarian food. <laughs> I, to be honest, I, I don't mind veggie food. Let, let's get on it. Five stars. Right, here we go. The Welsh rare bit. It's been a while since I had this. Basically just posh cheese on toast. I thought it was rabbit. It's not, it's not rabbit, no. Is it good? Good. I'm actually really excited about this because hopefully it will mean we're not eating at just a ton of different fast food chains. Mm. We can try some local independence. Yeah, hopefully the next one even just does chips. Like. I'm not really sure why you don't like cheese. I'm really suspicious of anyone that doesn't actually enjoy cheese. It's just too cheesy. Are you looking forward to your panini? It's not what you would call a traditional panini shape, but I love brie. Even though it, um, it smells like feet, it tastes good. How can something that smells like feet taste good? <laughs> so nice eating warm food. <laughs> like I've eaten a lot of cold food in the last month. <laughs> mm. You don't have to rush it, you can enjoy it, you know. This is a nice little village. You get hungry? Yes. Hurry up, mate. I'm surprised they didn't do chips. I know. In the next place, I'm hoping they've got some thick cut Ooh, fried chips. Ooh, really well done. And Ooh. chill your loins, darling. The goal was to not get the car messy. All right, Layla's kitchen. And this time I got five out of five on the uh, the little review tab. It's decent. Let's move on to the next. All right, we're uh, about what ten miles close to home now in a place called Sowerby Bridge, and uh, we're gonna see what's next up. All right, on you go, darling. You were uh, 
quite lucky last time, so I'll let you stick on. Yes! <laughs> Fish and chips! Four and a half stars. 299 reviews, that's not bad. Yes, open now. Seven minute drive. We don't need to order in advance because it's a chippy. Alright, if you say so. <laughs> so what are you gonna get? Um, I think... I think I will get... I don't know, I'm, I'm really not that into fish and chips, which I know is quite shameful as a... Shut up, you! Quite shameful as a, as a, as a British man, but um... Maybe a fish sandwich? Is that a thing? Do you mean a fish butter? Yeah, a fish butter. Yeah. Fish sandwich? Uh -oh. oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> This place is actually uh, pretty busy. So that means it lives up to the uh, four and a half star rating on uh, on Google. We will see. We'll see. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Beard. She's been out there in the. <laughs> it's quite exposed around here. She's been out there in the wind and rain <laughs> for about fifteen minutes waiting for fish and chips. <laughs> I'll put that. I'll put the heating on. <laughs> I've got just the thing. I found this the other day. Watch this. Uh, I think it's toy box. Romance. Are you ready? You ready to get cozy? <laughs> so you put this on. Oh. And look, it turns the heating on as well. Oh, that is nice. Here's your fish button. Oh, let's have a look at this. <laughs> so I said to her, "Can I have a fish button open, please?" And she went to eat now. <laughs> Just a big piece of fish in a in a bread bun. I feel bad now because I said it had all these pointless features, but look at that, that's coming in handy. Yeah, after being stood outside for 15 minutes in the freezing cold. The fish is good. The fish is good. Is it worth the wait? I don't know if it's worth, what, 15 minutes? I was going to get you a hot drink, but they take longer to make than the actual food, so... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It's a pretty big sandwich. I know. You don't normally get them the full length of a... Usually they, they just cut the fish fillet in half and stack it up. This is like the full length of the uh, of the bun. Bun? It's a bread cake. Relax, take it easy. You're really desperate to eat your chips. I am. <laughs> Which was better? Layla's Kitchen? Or... Lay Layla's Kitchen. But what? that's probably because I'm not... I don't really get excited about fish and chips. I think I find it pretty boring. That was pretty good though, as far as a chip butty goes. Well, that was a fish butty. Yeah, sorry, fish butty. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Jesus. <clears throat> what was that? I don't know. The real question is, what's your verdict? Because I am not the fish and chips connoisseur here. Yeah, that, that's you. Those are good. Is it, is it worth the four and a half star rating? Yeah. yeah? All right, well, while you're doing that, I'll, I'll look for somewhere else. Good shout. What? Good shout. Good shout? Good okay. shout. All right. <laughs> All right, we're now in um, the town. The township of Brighouse. Brighouse, we're in Brighouse, man. Yeah, enjoying some fine British weather. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to get the, the car to pick the next eatery at uh, which we're gonna eat no <laughs> subway subway <laughs> no <laughs> right well we definitely don't have to order in advance for subway yeah okay subway so is i was hoping we would avoid most of the uh the fast food chains especially subway but uh them's the rules i guess Okay, Subway. Alright, there's no need for that. <laughs> yeah, can you get the uh, the cheesy pepperoni? Cheesy pepperoni. Uh, and get a couple of cookies too. Cheesy pepperoni and two cookies. Yeah, why not? <sighs> that doesn't look like a foot long. I know, that's the sorriest looking sandwich ever. Oh my, this, see this is what, people complain when I say, oh, Subway's terrible. Look at that. I mean, that it looks nothing like the picture. Fireman Sam, 
I was gonna save the day. It's pretty much just like a, a pepperoni pizza. You know, like the can you get from Tesco for like 60p, mm -hmm. just folded in two. Better that or the fish. I probably enjoyed the fish a little more. You always say that you love the smell of Subway, right? I do. But you don't like their food. The Subway is the best smelling takeout ever. Like fast food takeaway place. I disagree. And two cookies. Oh, one cookie. I asked for two. <gasps> can you just scratch my nose? <laughs> yeah, I can scratch your nose. Know. This side. Other side. Other side. Down. Down. <laughs> oh, yeah. You enjoy that? Yeah. I asked for two cookies. All right, well, they, they've shortchanged us. I'm probably not going to go back in for the sake of what a <laughs> good 29p cookie or something. I'll say one thing for Subway. I'm not really into their sandwiches, which is, you know, their, their main mm. USP, I guess. But um, the cookies are always pretty good. Hard to get a cookie wrong, though, really. Although, having said that, Domino's manage it. Their cookies are not fantastic. Anyway, let's get moving. Okay, right, we're in uh, Bristol now. Um, about halfway home, halfway through the journey. But we've not eaten much, so I'm gonna take a look, see uh, where the car wants us to eat next. Salt and crust. You wanna try it? it? Sounds like the kind of thing you'd like. Salt, crust. Is that say apple burger? Apollo. Well, I do have the body of a god, so I think that one chooses itself. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's get the Apollo burger. Ooh. So it's uh, rather uniquely a lamb burger. It tastes pretty good, it's got that kind of um, Moroccan kind of vibe to it. Which is nice. I've been, I've been trying to avoid fries, but I do make an exception for sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries are like fries, but not as nice. Way better. No, they are. They are far, far nicer. I hope we get a dessert place next. I fancy some ice cream. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, they're crunchy. They're soft in the middle. They go down nice and easy. Way better than them. Not like you, then. <laughs> I can't put that in the video, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sorry, the camera's now going to be all over. <laughs> it gives me a bad neck. Like a <laughs> <laughs> Even the bitterness of your uh, of your insult could not take away the sweetness. <laughs> Where to next, cowboy? Um, what was I going to say? So if you're like, oh yeah, the, the Apollo burger from uh, Salt and Crust was uh, surprisingly good. I enjoyed it. I'm not used to getting that, that level of gourmet burger from a, from a, you know, what looks like a greasy takeout. But yeah, it was good. Anyway, now we didn't capture it on screen, but uh, we're going to a place called Bear Kitchen. Um, and what do we got? The Mac, Mac, Mac Daddy Burger? Mac and Cheese Burger? Where did I get Mac Daddy from? Long legged Mac Daddy. <laughs> Who knows? It's a mac and cheese burger, which sounds delicious. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll take us within 10 miles or so of, uh, of home. I, need, I think we need to pump up the calories. <laughs> Probably on rookie numbers right now. Oh. That was quick. Yeah. All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's huge. That, that, that looks pretty special. Ah! Oh. You okay there? Oh yeah, I didn't mean ah uh, as an ow. I mean, I, I thought it was mac and cheese on top of a burger. It's, it's a, uh, it's uh, mac and cheese formed into a patty and then deep fried. Mm. So. It's gonna fall! 
it tastes good. It's just not the most practical thing <laughs> to to form into a burger and then put it between two pieces of, of bread. It's unique though. Yeah, it tastes good. <sighs> hot. It is hot. I'm not sure, like, you can get a double, but that would have been... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been all over the place. Mmm. Right. I think we've probably only got time for one more stop because it's getting dark and I just got the warning message which says you only have 50 miles remaining. But I do want some dessert, so we're going to get on the road, head back home, and hopefully find, I mean, get the car to choose somewhere that offers desserts. You know. Relax, can I? Yeah, we're now, uh, we're gonna try two more places. It's getting a little dark, you won't be able to tell because there's a de half decent camera. So the ISO's pumped up really high. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get dessert from two places. I can't just do one dessert. We gotta do two. Oh yeah, creamy milkshake. <laughs> Why would they not give you a fork? Probably think people will be eating this at home. A big old slab of Biscoff cheesecake. I thought we were gonna put it all in in one then. Well, it's tempting. See if you can get it in in three bites. One last bite to go. Four. I think I can do a four. Let's see, who needs forks? There is a, a certain despicable charm to just sitting here eating cheesecake with my hands in an Aldi car park. <laughs> that was flipping lovely though. Um, I'm not going to waste these bits. And uh, what was this? The Nutty Professor Milkshake. It's thick. We'll drink this on the go. The journey is almost over. Got to go about what, five, six miles in that direction. I think we've got time for one more stop. We'll get almost home, then we'll ask the, uh, the car one more time where we should eat. It's done a pretty good job today. Mm. Especially that first place. Mm. I was happy with the fish and chips. Yeah? The earlier ones were the, mm. were the better options, I think. Although that Apollo burger thing, is it hurting nice. your arms? Yeah. You feeling the burn? <laughs> All right, shut it off. Oh, pardon me. All right, we we uh, we hit the final stop, <laughs> which is a what's the place called? Allerton Burgers and Shakes. Allerton Burgers and Shakes, which is actually miles away from where we're supposed to be, <laughs> but it was the closest place that we tried this a few times. We cheated a little bit because I wanted dessert, and it recommended a couple of Chinese places. I didn't really feel like Chinese, so this was the first dessert place it recommended to us. But yeah, it's not quite where we we live, so uh, we gotta go back home now and uh, finish off the state. It's been a little bit slapdash, but I've had uh, quite a lot of fun. What about you, darling? Yeah, yeah, me too. You lie! I'm surprised you four went the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, <laughs> I'm surprised you four went the, uh, four went, is that a word? Four, four goad, four went, <laughs> no, four went, four went the, uh, the garlic bread. First time I've ever seen you turn garlic bread down. I don't actually, die. how many calories do you think I've eaten today? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's probably not that many because we haven't really eaten that much food, but, I don't know, if you like if you like the video, I think we can do a, this is like a like a, a pilot, right? We could probably do a better version in the height of summer when there's more daylight, get to a few more uh, places. But I think it's been kind of a fun, if exceptionally gimmicky video, and uh, it's been fun to try out some different places that aren't just fast food joints. Mm. There was a subway in there, but you know, apart from apart from that, some uh, some decent grub today. No spoon again. <laughs> well, look at that. We about made it. 26 miles remaining. It's now gonna take 10 hours to charge. That's one of the drawbacks to uh, electric vehicles, I suppose. 
Why did the light turn off? I'm trying to build the suspense. <laughs> Well, he's got the most even distribution, but I suppose when you're carrying it, it it's kind of hard. It's artistic. Yeah. It's pretty big. I didn't expect it to be um, quite that size of cookie. Let's get it eaten. Right. I don't... It's just a giant cookie. Why don't you roll it and eat I, well, it? I, I thought it was going to be cookie dough, but it's just a giant cookie. <laughs> it's the least impressed I've ever seen it, but... I mean, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It's like halfway between a... Cookie and cookie okay. dough. Separate about as much as I can from the uh, from the paper. Well, it's good to know that we're sat, still sat in the car. It's now on 28 miles. <laughs> you still got my shaky footage going on. Yeah, if the if the B roll, which is normally buttery smooth. Nice and sweet and sexy. If it's a little bit, <laughs> then uh, you have to blame Mrs. Beard. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't figure out <laughs> what, what they were thinking off. when they made this. I don't. To be fair, the taste isn't bad. It's just you can't really tell what it is. It kind of looks, just looks like a half-baked cookie, and then the marshmallows on top aren't actually stuck to it. So like, <laughs> when you move it, they just fall off. The neighbours will be wondering what we're doing. You try some? No. Yeah, I don't blame it. Statistically, they say that um, marshmallows are one of the most dangerous foods to eat. Why? Um, I think they pose a Significant choking hazard. Mm, I hope you don't choke. We started too strong. <laughs> we didn't end well, but well, that wasn't bad. To be fair, maybe it just doesn't travel well. The taste was all right. Consistency was a little bit. It was. It was kind of a halfway house. A little bit dodgy, but there we have it. This is. <laughs> wow, look how dark it is now. This is Beer Food, and that was... I don't want to title it something clickbaity, like, Oh, my, my car chose my cheat day for a day, or something like that. I might just call it cheat day, but the car chooses. Snappy, not too uh, <laughs> clickbaity or anything. <sighs> See ya. Play Garlic Bread by Beard Meets Food. That sounds good. <laughs>